Jerry of the circus. Jerry of the circus. It sure was lucky you got through in time to come out to the races with me, Patsy. Yes, it was, Jerry. Oh, but I'm awfully sorry Bumps couldn't make it. He wanted to see that race so much, especially after you told him so much about it. Well, if he could get out of the last walk-around, he could get out to the fairgrounds in time. Yes, that's right. Well, he just couldn't get out of that last walk-around. That's the funniest bit he does. <laughs> <laughs> what are you puffing about? Oh, oh, am I? Uh -huh. oh, I didn't notice it. I guess I hurried too much. I don't know when I changed my costume and into my street clothes so fast. Guess I'm a real quick change artist. I'll <laughs> say you are. Well, I didn't want to miss that race. I guess we have plenty of time now, though. Oh, sure. The bus that takes us out to the fairground stops right on the next corner. There'll be one along in a few minutes. You know, Jerry, I believe I'm getting excited already. I can hardly wait to see who wins that race. Oh, and I do hope it'll be Tom. So do I. It means everything to him and his dad. Well, I'll surely keep my fingers crossed for him. I'll be yelling for him, too. Oh, by the way, you stop me if I yell too loud. <laughs> I will if I can hear you. <laughs> what do you mean, if you can hear me? Well, I'll be yelling so loud myself, maybe I won't hear anything. <laughs> oh, I see. Hey, wait a minute, Patsy. I nearly forgot it. I gotta go into the store here and get something. Well, why, that's a junk store, Jerry. What are you gonna get in there? No, it's a second-hand store. Well, what are you gonna get in there? Well, you'll see later. N now, wait for me. I'll just be a minute. Is my package ready? It's right there on the counter, son. Wrapped up just like you wanted. Oh, thanks, mister. That's all right. Now, that didn't take long, did it? Well, that's the fastest purchase I've ever seen. I didn't buy anything. Well, looks like you bought a lot from the size of that package you're carrying. Oh, I bought this over an hour ago. The man was wrapping it for me. Oh, I see. But uh, what is it? What's in the package? Uh, Patsy, will you do me a favor? Mm. Surely, Jerry. Then don't ask me what's in this package. I can't tell you. Oh, all right. You're the boss. If you want it to be a mystery, a mystery it shall be. You know, but I'm awfully curious. Well, you'll find out after the race. <laughs> all right, I won't say any more about it. We'd better wait here, Patsy. The bus stops right on this corner. Well, how long will it take to get out to the fairgrounds? Only about 15 minutes. And it's a nice ride. We go through a park on the way out. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be noticing any scenery, Jerry. <laughs> Why? Oh, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to be too much interested in the race to pay any attention to anything else. <laughs> Here comes a bus now. Let's see, it says Brundage Park and the fairgrounds on the front of it. Yeah, that's it. Go ahead, Patsy. Thank you, Jerry. Fares, please. Have your fares ready. They're back in the bus, please. Well, it won't be long now. So big. Sure it is. There's a grandstand of the racetrack right ahead of us. Uh-huh. Is that where we're to meet your friend, Mr. Rogers? Uh-huh. Come on, let's hurry. He said he'd be at the main entrance. Well, I 
don't see how you'll ever find him in that crowd. I guess everybody is going in to get their seats before the big handicap race. Oh, I hope we don't miss it. What? The big race. Oh, don't worry, we won't. It's ten minutes yet. Uh, are you nervous, Jerry? Uh-uh. Are you? Uh, a little. Hey, look at Fancy. There's Mr. Rogers. See him standing by the ticket taker? I don't know him, Jerry. <laughs> well, that's right, I forgot. Well, Mr. Rogers... I think he heard you. Mr. Rogers. Oh, there you are, Jerry. Been waiting for us long? No, Jerry. I just got here a minute ago. This is Patsy, Mr. Rogers. I'm very happy to know you, Mr. Rogers. And I'm glad to meet you, young lady. You got the tickets? You bet I have, and good seats, too. Here you are. Thanks a lot, Mr. Rogers. Oh, it was awfully nice of you to get them for oh, us. Oh, not at all, not at all. Glad to do it. See, how's Tom? I was just going to ask you to do something, Jerry. Yes? Well, Tom's been asking for you. He wants to see you before the race. Will you come out to the paddock and, uh, well, sort of wish him luck? Will I? I'll say I will. I want to. Good boy, then let's hurry. You want me to wait for you here, Jerry? Let's see. Well, you can come too if you like. No, I don't think that'd be so good. I think it's better if Jerry and Tom can talk alone. Then I'll tell you what. You take one of these tickets and go up into the grandstands. I'll keep mine, and after I see Tom, I'll join you up there. Well, that's a good idea. Say, uh, you mind taking care of this package for me? Oh, surely, Jerry. Now, no fair looking, though. <laughs> I won't, I promise. Okay. See you in a little while. Bye, Mr. Rogers. Most likely see you after the race. Goodbye. Lots of luck. Thank you. Is Tom excited, Mr. Rogers? Yes, Jerry. Tom's pretty much worked up. It's asking a lot of a boy to become a jockey in a few hours and then ride in a big handicap race and to top it off on a horse that hasn't got a chance. I don't see that, Mr. Rogers. Blaze has just as much of a chance as the other horses. Oh, I wish I felt the same as you do about him. Come on, right through here, Jerry. Okay. I know Tom will try, but it just seems useless. Blaze just hasn't got enough speed for such a long race. He might surprise you, though. Yes, and what a wonderful surprise that would be. Every penny I have in the world is tied up in that horse. If I don't win that race and get the $1,000 prize money, Tom and I will be in a bad fix. Well, it just means I'll have to start all over again. No, don't think about that. Just think that Tom is going to bring Blaze in, the winner. Jerry, you're an optimist if there ever was well, one. I don't know what I am, but it, it just seems like good sense to me. There's no use hoping for something to happen and then say it won't happen. Yes, there's a lot of truth to that. Hey, there's Tom now. Jiminy, he sure looks nice in that jockey's outfit. Yeah. Tom! Oh, Tom! Jerry! I told you Jerry would show up before the race. But, Jerry, I'm sure glad you got here in time. Hey, I got an idea, and it won't hurt it to try it. Well, what is it, Jerry? Well, you see this ring? <laughs> yeah, I've noticed that a lot of times. It's a dragon, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's a good luck ring. Mr. Bradley gave it to me. Well, who's Mr. Bradley? Oh, you don't know him, but he used to be a clown with the circus. Now, listen, Tom, I'm not going to give you this ring. I couldn't do that, but I want you to wear it in the race. Oh, really? Sure. Here, take it. You can't tell. It might bring you good luck. You'll need it, Jerry. Gee, it fits me keen. Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> I don't see how I can lose now. I've got Ham's lucky rabbit's foot and now this ring. That's the way to talk. Well, I'll let you boys alone for a minute. I've got to attend to something. Okay. Don't be long, Dad. Oh, I won't. Say, Tom, I asked Whitey what you told me to ask him. And what did he say? Well, he said to be very careful not to get in between two horses. But if you do, see that you give Blaze's reins and let him out. Don't hold him back. Yeah. And he said if you can't get over by the rail, to pull around on the outside. He said there were a lot of horses won on the outside. Oh, I'll remember that. Uh, are you scared? Well, a little. Well, don't be. Whitey said to tell you that if you're cool and keep your head, you can think better. Well, all right. Then another thing. Keep talking to Blaze. Keep telling him to try harder. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. You're going to try with all your might now, aren't you? You bet I am. Uh... Does Blaze seem all right? He does to me, but Dad says he won't be able to run because he ate those oats this morning. Oh, he didn't eat enough to hurt him. Oh, I don't think so either. Well, I've got to get up on the grandstand so I can get in my seat before the race starts. It'll only be a couple of minutes now. Good luck, Tom, and remember, you and your dad need that money awful bad, and it's up to you and Blaze to win that race. You've just got to win. I'll see you after it's over. Okay, Jerry, and thanks. Thanks for what? Oh, I don't know. Just thanks for everything. I don't feel so nervous anymore since you talked to me, and... Well, I, I'm just going to try awful hard. I know you will. See you later. Bye, Jerry. You boys all through talking it over? Oh, yes, Mr. Rogers. I was just going to go out and get in my seat. Well, you've only got a couple of minutes now. You'd better hurry. Say, Mr. Rogers. Yes? Please don't say any more to Tom about not having a chance. You see, he thinks he can win it, Mr. Rogers. I told him he could, and if he thinks that way, it's better than to think it's hopeless. Yes, you're right, Jerry. Come on, I'll walk over to the grandstand with you. I got some tips from Whitey and told Tom about them. You know, some little tricks to do in the race. Good for you, Jerry. I hope they work. Oh, they will. 
Whitey knows more about horses than anybody I know. Say, you seem to take quite an interest in our winning the race. You bet I do. I, I want you to win. That's mighty nice of you, Jerry. Hey, what was that for? That's the warning bell. They're going to call the horses out onto the track now. I better hurry, then. I'm going to make a run for it. Okay, Jerry. We'll see you after the race. Good luck, Mr. Rogers. During the race, all the names and numbers of all the horses get your official program here. Official program. Have your tickets ready. Have your tickets ready. Hold your own tickets. Have your tickets ready. Here you are, mister. All right, buddy. That's uh, section 2, row 13. Thanks. All right, have your tickets ready. Hold your own tickets. Jerry! Oh, there you are, Patsy. Oh, I thought you wouldn't get back in time. I guess I just made it. Oh, there's a bugle. The horse will be coming in now. Where, Jerry? Oh, you'll see him coming up from under the stand. There's a runway. Hey, look, there they come now. Oh, aren't they beautiful horses? Oh, I didn't get a program. Oh, I've got one. Here it is. Oh, good. The scene. The first horse out is number one. That's Tony M. Number two is R. G. My, what long legs. That horse certainly looks like it can run. Now, wait. Number three is Chum. Uh-huh. Boy, isn't he a beauty? Oh, beautiful, Jerry. Uh, what's the number on Blaze? Oh, he's number seven. Well, that's a good number. You bet it is. Here comes Mr. Elson's horses. Number four is Silver Street, uh -huh. and number five is Morning Sun. Oh. Well, that's Warren on Silver Street. Uh, that's a jockey that wouldn't ride Blaze for Mr. Rogers. Hmm. He ought to be ashamed of himself. Oh, never mind. He'll be sorry. Here's number six coming out now. That's Ham Boss's horse, Flash Away. Well, here comes Tom on Blaze. Oh, doesn't he look grand? A blue and white outfit. Oh, I'm so thrilled, Jerry. What do you think of Blaze? Oh, he's lovely. He looks just like any of the other race horses, even though he was once with the fire department. Sure he does. He is a real racehorse. Now, here's the last one, number eight. See that? That's Little Star. I can't get over what a nice-looking horse Blaze is. And Tom looks just like he'd been a jockey all his life. He seems to know just what he's doing. They're all going down to the barrier now. That's where they start from. Yes, I know. Each horse goes into one of those stalls, and when they all line up even, the starter gives his okay, and off they go. Uh-huh. Hey, Patsy, what did you do with that package of mine? Oh, now, don't get excited, Jerry. It's right down under your seat. Oh, good. I, I got scared for a minute when I didn't see it. Thanks, Patsy. <laughs> oh, look, Jerry. There they go into the stalls now. Number one, and number two, and number four are in there standing perfectly still. They seem to be having a hard time getting Little Star in there. He sure is acting up. Hey, look at him. He, he's sure bulky. Well, there goes Blaze now. Say, it doesn't look like he wants to line up either. They say that's a good sign when they get nervous before the start. It means he's all ready to go. Well, they got a little star in there now. They're almost ready to go. They're pretty nearly lined up even. They'll be starting in less than a minute now. 